After our boat ride, we're gonna go back that way to go that way. And so on our way, when we head south, I'll show you where the outlet of the, the, the Sea of Gaza. walking toward them on the, on the sea. But when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came toward Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me! Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why do you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat were, worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. When they had crossed over, they came to the land at Jacinareth. Let us go across to the other side of the lake. So they put out, and while they were sailing, he fell asleep. A windstorm swept down on the lake, and the boat was filling with water, and they were in danger. They went to him and woke him up, shouting, Master, Master, we are perishing. And he woke up and rebuked the wind, and the raging waves. They ceased, and there was a calm. He said to them, Where is your faith? They were afraid and amazed, and said to one another, Who then is this that he commands even the winds and the water, and they obey him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I think it was Ollie Clable, who most recently, who uh, was talking to us about the image of water in the scriptures that it's that it's always an image of chaos and and uh, life we know that water all life emerged from water and, and there is no life without water and yet especially when we hear these readings we we hear how water can also be a force for chaos and death Yes, most recently you, you see it there. Um, and the whole creation story that we focused on uh, a few days ago was, was about the taming of God is the one who moves by the Holy Spirit over the face of the great deep and there's nothing but water and chaos and, and creates order and limits. Psalms talk about Jesus, about the Lord who, who sets the boundaries of the ocean and says, here and no further. Um, so we can't hear these readings without, without reflecting on the mighty gift of water and the mighty power uh, of water, both for, both for life and for death.
these readings are all about meeting Christ at that at that place of life and death, at that place of of life and and chaos and suffering. If we can't uh, if we can't find a place to open up our hearts to receive the gift. Of life, and it only happens when we're, you know, like those people in that boat. So let's just reflect for just a few minutes. I just, like you, I'm sure, I'm just imagining on the face of this water what happened in those in those stories that we know so well, and just reflect in our own hearts about what God is asking of us, what Christ is asking of us, about giving ourselves completely into his leadership and his guidance, his trust, his control. Even when our little boat is battered by wind and waves.